My name is Dr. Kyle Orwig. I'm a professor in the Department of Obstetrics, Gynecology, and Reproductive Sciences at UPMC. We uh, introduced ovarian tissue freezing and testicular tissue freezing at UPMC in 2011. There were many places around the country that became interested in this, and one of the important things that we've done is to develop a coordinating network of centers, mostly children's hospitals around the United States and around the world. They can do surgical procedures on kids, but we process the tissues for them here in Pittsburgh. We're working hard in the research laboratory to develop the technologies that will be available for the patient who have frozen their tissues. And some of those technologies we think are very close to the clinic. For females, we're approved now to do ovarian tissue transplantation. And for males, we have preliminary approval to do spermatogonial stem cell transplantation. Spermatogonial stem cell transplantation involves taking the tissue that we froze for the patient, producing a suspension of cells from that tissue, and transplanting those cells back into the testis. If we transplant them in the right way, they will start producing sperm, and they will continue to do that throughout the life of that particular patient. Ovarian tissue transplantation involves uh, taking the surface of the ovary and transplanting that ovarian surface back into the place where the ovary used to be. And the neat thing about this approach is that that tissue can ovulate eggs into the uterus the normal way, and the patient can get pregnant the normal way. And in fact, there are more than 160 births now recorded worldwide from ovarian tissue transplantation. The patients are what inspires what we do in the laboratory every day, and we've developed a real compassion for the fertility challenges that those patients have and a commitment to develop the next generation of reproductive therapies to help them realize their dreams of having biological children and a family.